unlikely murder occurred at 8 o'clock last night. The only question is, who is the murderer, and why did they kill such an innocent man? I'm Detective Gilbert Martinez, and I will be looking into this investigation. Thank you for your time, Gil. Hello, my name is Detective Gilbert Martinez. Me and my assistant, Detective Tim Darkin. Sup, homie G, homie G, homie G. I'm a junior detective without a degree. Yes, he is quite a bit eccentric, I know, but he and I are investigating the murder of a very, very innocent young man. Well, no, I shouldn't say young. I should say old. Very, very old. Well, thank you for your time, Gil. We hope that you'll do a good job investigating. My pleasure. Your father is here, Detective Dargan. The murder weapon may be located in this area. Ah, not even the murder weapon. There also might be a fingerprint or something. You, wish, you must search high and low. The murder weapon can be anywhere. I think this is a light switch. I think we can turn this on. There's already a light you can say. That's weird. I don't normally have a southern accent. Do I? Oh, uh, just a little bit. You're from my Haha, <laughs> Kentucky! Yes. Ooh, it's your boss. You love this show. Detective! Huh? Snap out of it. Right. We have a, we have a murder to investigate. Right. We must speak loudly and be good. Hmm. Now, where could the murder weapon probably... Ooh, Catafel. I love this guy. He's like awesome. He's like all this cool dude, stuff going on. Dude, seriously. Detective. Catafel. Detective! Yeah, I'm putting it back, dude. Wait a second. There's something shiny in here. Hmm? What is it? Scissors. Oh, it's... There's blood on this here. There is? It's Let me say see that. Hey, cameraman guy! Do you see that blood? Do you it's, see it? It looks very fresh. It is. It happened last night, too. Hmm. Well, we'll have to find who this murderer dude is. And very fast, otherwise you will never catch him. I'm totally dropping that southern accent. <clears throat> Anyways, let's get out of here. He is quite a century. Just... Oh man, there's something in this kitchen. Of course, it's obviously something in this kitchen. <laughs> there, must, there must be something suspicious in this kitchen. Well, let's see. There's a pot of water that ain't boiling. And there's a whole bunch of spices here that look ready to use. And there's a fan that's blowing. And the light, which obviously means he was preparing to make something. Then he went to grab something over yonder, and he died. Sucks for him. Just saying. I mean, it obviously sucks to die. Well, of course it did. Oh, and this salt. You gotta love the salt. See, there's salt in it. It obviously means that this guy was up to something. No, it means you just got salt in your hand, detective. Very true. Do we see anything else? I don't, I don't see anything. I don't, I don't know. This cap is adjusting. What's this? A note. A note! Suspicious and spooky! <laughs> Sorry, I got a little not enough sleep last night. I can tell. What's it say? It looks all cursive Oh. Here, camera guy, I'll read this to you. Have you found the murder weapon yet? Try the living room. Mm, from, I see that. from question mark. That's weird. Who could have sent this? Probably the murder guy. Very true, Detective Darkin. Why would he do that, though? Wouldn't he not want us finding them clues? It's as if he actually wants us to catch him. It's weird. Very, very true. Or maybe he's setting a trap for us. We better be careful, Detective. We must take every route of precaution necessary. Well, we already found that murder weapon, so I'm thinking that we should go search another room and see if we can find him another clue. Well, right you are. Let's search upstairs. I think there might be a couple of other rooms down here first. Let's search them too. Okay. Hey, detective! Let's check out dim computer room while I get to hold dim fancy camera. Okay, man. Why would you sit down at them computers there? I have to see something. Whoop, whoop. Clue. Oh, good one, detective. Let me see if I can read this. Not at all. Uh, here, let me read this for you. 
check your files and you might find something worth your while. From question mark again. Hmm. Files! Like them filey cabinets! Don't see anything here but a pocket knife, which obviously is not suspicious. No, I think he means... The murderer means, like, something on a computer. Computer files. Well, they do have them documents there, up there at the bottom. Why don't you go click on that and see what comes up? I wonder what's doing on my computer. This isn't your computer. This is the house of the guy who died. All oh, right. I almost forgot. You and your absent-mindedness again. Let me turn down the brightness on this here thingy. I'm good with computers. And we can see what's on this screen a lot better. Yes. Detective Zargon could do wonders. Hmm, not really. Oh, don't be so modest. I'm a modest kind of guy. Alright, let me save that here, dim diddy. What's that? I don't know, it looks like some guy in a crazy black robe. Well, let's hear it. Amp up dim sound and you click on that file. Will do. Death. I wonder what this could be. <laughs> death. He <laughs> make dim funny death noises, detective. Anyways, let's watch. Are you there? This is a clue. This clue in particular is wonderful. The clue is, I'm going to kill you and I'm upstairs. <laughs> End of clue. <laughs> is it really that funny, detective? <laughs> oh, really? I just remembered a joke. Detective, we need to be serious here. I know, I know. Really, and you said, oh, I'm eccentric. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, well. Anyways. What do, think, what do you think that means? The clue that the killer has sent us. Well, I'm thinking he's upstairs <laughs> and he wants to kill us. Well, okay. That joke again. Yeah, sorry. We should keep this clue somewhere safe. Right, right. <laughs> that must be one funny joke. Can I hear it? <laughs> no, you wouldn't like it. Well, anyways, <laughs> let's get on to the next place. Okay.